In this tutorial, we will create a connection to a data warehouse table and then perform ETL, Extract, Transform, and Load. We will continue from our tutorial in Part 1. We return to the Data Flow tab. Again, we access the SQL Server Integration Services toolbox. We select the OLE database destination object and drag it into our workspace. We will name our destination table product dimension. We will now connect the green arrow from the source table object to the destination table object. This allows the data to flow from the source table to the destination table. We double click the database icon in order to point this object to our data warehouse destination table. To connect to the server we click New. And then we click New again. In this dialog box, we specify the name of the remote data server that contains our data warehouse tables. The exact server name is included in the same folder as your data warehouse project lab assignment. We select SQL Server Authentication. We enter our username and password to access the remote server. Important, before continuing, be sure to select Save My Password. We test the connection. We click OK to continue. We then select our data warehouse. Please see your Project Lab assignment for your specific data warehouse name. Again, we test our connection. We click OK to continue. We click OK. And we click OK again. From this drop-down list, we select the Product Dimension Table. Before continuing, we uncheck the options Table Lock and Check Constraints, and we check the option Keep Identity. Finally, we must map the fields from the Source Table to the fields in the Data Warehouse Destination Table. To do this, we click on the Mappings option. Since this is a simple one-to-one -one mapping from one source table to one destination table, we simply map the source fields on the left to the destination fields on the right. We click OK to continue. To execute the ETL function, we must return to the Control Flow tab. We perform a right click on the task object. And then we choose Execute Task. If the task executes successfully, a green check mark will appear in the upper right corner of the task object. We then select the Data Flow tab to see more details regarding the ETL task. On the Data Flow tab, we see that 295 data rows were successfully extracted from the product source table and loaded into the Data Warehouse product dimension table. 